Hi, I'm Johnny Berkowitz. And I'm Costa Pribilov. And we're here with the Daily Targum. Welcome to our series, Rutgers on the Record, where we take to the streets of New Brunswick and get your opinions on hot topics and big ideas. So Hurricane Ida hit first week of school. Were you prepared at all for the storm? Absolutely not. Um, as a commuter, it was really difficult um, trying to anticipate where the floods would be uh, especially coming all the way from Jersey City for me. I'm in the South Tower and we had to evacuate and spend the night in the Student Center for um, about 12 hours. Like I was just walking to my car and like 100 feet away from me like a, a tree gets struck by lightning and blows up right in front of me. So. I was in my room doing homework and then the lights went out and then I just heard all the stories from throughout the day like people's rooms are flooding, cars are underwater, the library got flooded. I was like I did not know this stuff. Thank God I wasn't as affected as people I know. Um, I, people had severe water damage in their basements. Uh, they looked like swimming pools. Do you think Rutgers did a good job uh, with how they handled the aftermath of the storm? So uh, aside from letting us know exactly when the campus is gonna close, I think they could have let us know a little earlier, you know, particularly towards the beginning of the day. After just going through a pandemic, I feel like it was a good call for Rutgers to kind of put us online for that day. Everyone kind of came together as a community and um, made it work out to like fix everything. And and it kind of bonded everyone too because we had conversations about like how to fix things. If they have any money um, left over from like CARES Act funds or um, any money that they can give to the students, kind of just give whatever. I think it would be nice if they provided a little aid for people who did have their stuff damaged and do have like you know flooding and electrical damage, Wi-Fi outages, that kind of thing.